Talk to one of them white boys. I ain't gonna lie to you. Ooh. Man, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta go grab this shoe. Right. My boy Soul Chasers came through with that bag. Hey, man. Here goes information up here. I'm gonna link it in the description. But you in Charlotte, man. Y'all looking for some sneakers? My boy is legit. Shop with my boy, man. Real talk. But he got a bag right there. Y'all see the box? This sneaker right here is causing a lot of controversy in these streets. A whole lot. We back at the crib, guys. Now, if you're new over here, make sure you hold smash that subscribe button for your boy. Please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so YouTube can push this thing out. It'll help the channel grow. And it don't cost y'all nothing, man. It's free 99. Free. It don't cost y'all nothing to do that. So y'all go ahead and do that. Just do it now. Don't wait till the end of the video. Go ahead, pause, and do it now. This sneaker has caused a lot of controversy in the past couple weeks. Like, stuff like this right here, like, I find it lame because Muggs gonna be looking like the Spider-Man meme. Like, I guarantee you, the people, a lot of people who ended up, well, a lot of these resellers that ended up getting these early, bro, I guarantee you they food gazing. Now, it's supposed to be something out here with the blue laces, but nah, we just gonna have to wait and see. Now, this sneaker right here, like I said, it's caused a lot of controversy. Now, I'm already excited because of the box. Like, the boxes, you know, we used to the black and red Jordan 1 boxes, but this box right here is special. I'm gonna let y'all see it. Woo-hoo! That ain't special, man. We got a blue box, and it's outlined in a white cream style Nike. Like, this part right here looks a little cream. To me, it looks uh, like a milky white. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Now, I'm gonna drop the top on the things. Oh, snap. Oh, the ticket almost fell out. So I'm gonna put the ticket down and just let y'all see this. Now, we do have a lot number on there. And we do have the Nike swoosh above it, all right? And now, it's just uh, Air Jordan Trophy Room with the Trophy Room logo inside of that thing. Ooh, man, oh man, I'm so excited. And here is the trophy room ticket, the ticket that comes with it. This is the front side of it. Man, I'm really, there's a lot of details going on in this sneaker. The event code says trophy room, section aisle 523, row two, seat 10, admission 1985. And on the back, it has uh, a little description of everything as far as the 1985, uh, all-Star Game, that was Michael Jordan's first season, the 84-85 season, and that was his uh, first All-Star Game. Now, getting into the paper with the box, um, this paper is layered with that cream style, let y'all see that, that cream style. Oh man, and on the inside, it has white, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I, I got a little ahead of myself. So before we do that, let me go ahead and read the box tag to y'all for let y'all get that thing, thing. Now, the label tag reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG SP. SP is Special Project. And the colorway is white, black, varsity red, cell. This is a size 12 and it retail for $170. And I think the release on these is February 10th. So, uh, I did the raffle the other day on Trophy Room's website. What I had to do, I had to go to Google. I Google Trophy Room and raffle was under the uh, Trophy Room website, uh, under the Google search. So I just did that and it took me straight to the raffle page. So if you haven't done the raffles yet, make sure you do that and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna let y'all see the tag. I'm pretty much gonna give y'all B-roll everything, man. Let y'all get a good look at that. Let it focus. Now, like I said, I was getting ahead of myself, man. I don't know what was wrong with the boy, but Boy, he thinks so I said he was gonna hold y'all. Let y'all get a good look at that. These are gorgeous. And I'm looking at it on camera. Bro, the camera ain't doing no justice for these. Like just seeing them in person. Oh my goodness gracious. 
know a lot of people wondering why they made the trophy room one like this right here. Um, like I said earlier, uh, Jordan's first All-Star game, he was frozen out in basketball terms. That means people ain't passing you the ball. So if you get froze out of game, that means the other players aren't passing you the ball and trying to get you involved in the game. But these pairs, these trophy room ones with the Chicago blocking, bruh, they made it seem like it's like a, a ice. They, they they froze them out, which is which is crazy. Like I said, with this material and the way it looks, the camera ain't doing these no justice. Would I spend 2K for it? Hell no! Nope. 2000 for a sneaker, that, that ain't in my blood. If I had it, maybe I would. Like if I was a big time shoe tube, I probably would, but not at this level. But yeah, it's modeling like a sheet of ice. Like, But going into details of the sneaker, let's start out at the outsole. The outsole is translucent with the OG All-Stars in that thing, man. In the outsole, which is crazy. That is ridiculous. I, a sneaker like this, you really can't wear too much, man. You, you really won't be able to wear these too much. Heading up into the midsole. The midsole is actually a sale colorway. Um, you know, I always call it the cream or the eggshell. So we got a sale outsole on these joints right here. Now, moving up onto the upper. Now, the white part of the upper, like, bruh, it ain't really tumbled leather. It's more of that stiff leather, like the uh, the leather on the high 85s. You know, we always go back to shattered backboard quality, but the stiff leather reminds me of the high 85 joints. This is a stiff leather, not a tumble leather, like the white part up on the toe box as well, bruh. It's definitely not a tumbled leather. Now, heading into the swoosh, we got a black leather swoosh with that thing, which is amazing. And we have the red upper, like I said, which is frozen out, all right? Now, heading into the tongue, we have our Nike Air label on that tongue. And it is red and white. And on the right sneaker, on the inside of the tongue, we do have February 10th. 1985 that was the date of Michael Jordan's first all-star game and this is on the right side the right sneaker has the all-star game date on the inside of the right sneaker it is stitched it says rumor has it so I like that and looking at this right sneaker we definitely have our Air Jordan 1 pinch or like my boy Super Duper Rupert say we got that pinch that pinch that's how the country boys talk y'all better get y'all better rock with it man they do come uh, lace with black laces as any Jordan Chicago would. We do have our black laces. And looking at our shoe tree, this is a size 12. So the shoe tree has the Jumpman logo and it has 12 to 12 and a half on the Nike shoe tree. And looking at the size tag, like I said, this is a size 12 on um, the production date. Uh, let me see what the production date. The production date was from April 1st, 2020 to July 31st, 2020 for size 12. Into the heel of the sneaker, we have Michael Jordan's signature, which is frozen out in that thing. And then heading up top, we have the Air Jordan 1 Wings logo. I know the left sneaker is the sneaker that has the extra set of laces in these. Like, bro, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I don't know why anybody would want to wear this. Like, I know it's a collection piece, but if I hit on these, I'm not gonna wear these. I'm probably gonna put these in a trophy case for real. On the left side, like I said, the right side has the all-star date, which was the February 10th, 1985. Now, the left sneaker has the number, which number your pair is. And this is number 4,089 out of 12,000. So 12,000 of these were made, and this is number 4,089. Now, like I said earlier, I know a lot of people have been getting these early and the story with the blue laces and all that, man, it's it's getting ridiculous, man. But this is a good sneaker. I, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. This is a good sneaker. All right, now getting into the midsole. The midsole has the Air Jordan Trophy Room. We got a red insole and we got a trophy room right there, which I think is a wonderful, another wonderful detail. Now, overall, I definitely think this is a good sneaker. Uh, it definitely caught me by surprise. I don't have the Air Jordan 1 Chicago, but I do have something close to it. 
and that's the Spider-Man origin stories. We pretty much got the same thing with the Spider-Man. We got the translucent outsole or the so icy outsole, and we have it in that Chicago color blocking. The only difference is instead of a white and red and white tongue label, we got a blue and red tongue label on the Chicago or I mean, the, the Chicago origin stories. The Spider-Man origin stories. I won't be pressed if I don't hit on these. I mean. With so much going on with this sneaker, I definitely wouldn't be pressed simply because I have these. And hopefully the OG Chicago colorway is coming back out this year. We do have that style code, so I don't know. Maybe they are. My boy Soul Chasers and my boy Rush Sneaker 704, they looked out for me on these, man. I really appreciate those guys. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to link their stuff in the comment section below, in the description below. Y'all let me know in the comment section below if y'all gonna get these. I'm gonna give y'all some quick little B-roll of these joints, man, and we gonna hop off, and we gonna send this thing on, man. Anyway, once again, it's been your friendly neighborhood sneaker man, Goat Weezy. I appreciate y'all for coming through and rocking out with your boy. Hey, man, y'all watch me give y'all a review of these early trophy room ones. Bruh, it's, it's definitely a hit, man. I can see why everything is so crazy right now, but y'all know how y'all know how we do with ones and with a Chicago blocking. Bruh, I can only imagine what's next, man. But anyway, once again, I appreciate y'all for rocking out with your boy. If you haven't, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm on the road to 3K right now, man. Hopefully we can hit 5K before the year is over with. And y'all know how I get out of here, baby. Love, peace. With all this beef, put some chicken grease out here. We out.